My name is Margie Kane. I'm one of the co-directors of the Carpolis Museum. I actually started with the Carpolis family. Um, they went and visited a museum called the Huntington Museum in California. And it was a really neat and unique experience for them. Uh, they fell in love with the documents. And at first, of course, the kids were a little bored because it's just documents. But then the kids started seeing different people, famous people that they studied about in school as well as one of the famous people had written a letter where they had made a mistake and they marked through the word and they kept writing. And that just really made the history come alive to this child because they think, oh, we make so many mistakes, I could never be anybody famous. And here's this famous person who still made mistakes. And so it just made history come alive. And so as a family, they started collecting documents. And, um, and at first it was just a family hobby. They just really enjoyed, you know, finding things and getting them and researching about the different people. And, but it actually grew to the largest privately owned collection in the world. The museum is actually free to the public because the Carpolis family loved and enjoyed so much these documents as a family. Um, and they would just want that same opportunity for children all across America to be able to go to a museum, not have to pay, but be able to go and be able to see these documents. And, you know, it's, and it's not like they learn everything when they come, but it, maybe it can spark that curiosity in them to go home and to research more and to just to find that love for history.